All right, so I'm looking at NWBO. I picked up 10,000 shares at 70 cents right before the close. Uh, it didn't go out by email or text alert just because the stock is up so much already, almost 100% uh, from this 0 0.039 bottom. And I, I couldn't justify hitting you with a text message late in the day uh, knowing that you might not have time to look at it. I also knew it probably wouldn't move much between where I bought it at the close and uh, where it finished up, which it didn't, only one penny difference. And uh, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. What I like is it broke the MA200 late in the day. Uh, that's a very bullish sign for a stock that's up quite a bit already. You could see it had some previous price action resistance in through 58 cents to 54 cents. And, uh, you know, I was watching it in through here, not totally sure whether or not it would get through there. And then it just engulfs that resistance in the last two days. Uh, the fact that it's trading above the MA200 now on the bid leads me to believe that there might be a good opportunity for this one tomorrow. Uh, near term resistance will be at the, you know, 80 cent range right in through here. You can see all this price action how it trades slowly, kind of moves up one time, bounces back off the MA200, and then continues sideways before collapsing down to 31 cents. Well, the stock's moving back up right now, and it's got a lot of momentum. Anytime you see a very bullish-looking candle like this where the open and close dictate the bottom and the top of the stock, it's a great sign. Uh, I'd love to catch one more tomorrow. I'm hoping that it'll be the breakout day. Still no major increase in volume from the last four trading sessions. My hope is that we'll see something like this that just sends the shares rocketing up towards the $1 range. Uh, Near-term target would be $0.80. Cents. That'll be about 10%. And, uh, you know, after that, a little more risky target would be to get into the $1 range. You can see price action resistance in through here. Uh, so I'd say, you know, 10% at the $0.80 cent range. And after that, you know, look for uh, $1 to be not only, you know, mental resistance anytime you get to a uh, round number like that, but also, you know, these traders in through here, probably some of them still have a position in the stock. So RSI above the 70 line, possibly a little bit overbought. Haven't seen it up there since it had the big two-day move back through here. And MACD obviously crossing the signal line. It's a very good sign. Uh, the visual demonstration here of the histogram and, uh, you know, you can see that the uh, bars are getting bigger, which means, you know, it basically is just a representation of the space between the red line and the black line, the red line being the signal line. So as that space gets further apart, it just shows you how bullish the MACD line is getting. And uh, the accumulation, obviously, is starting to tick back up. So this isn't anything outrageous. The stock still could see a very large buying day, and I'm hoping that tomorrow is that day. Uh, very good sign here, in my opinion, being that the markets were hammered today, up 22%. So hopefully we'll squeeze another 10% out of this one tomorrow. We'll see.